Hi, I'm Beth and I play Alice in Season of the Witch. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so Beth, you obviously you've done film work before, you've been an extra and this sort of stuff. Um, is this the first main film, feature film that you applied for or been in? Or? Yeah, it's the first feature film. After my um, course I'd done a few short films and student films, but this was the first full feature, yeah. And what made you want to apply for this one? Well, it's exciting to see, um, like, to do a feature film rather than just do a short film because you get to, more times so you get to be able to get, get into the character more and it also sounded like a really exciting project. It sounded like a really good idea, and I like things that are a bit, a bit strange. And, okay. <laughs> and uh, try and keep looking at me because he's not there. So. Um, the, um, the fact that it was a zero budget film, did that have any? Did you know about that at the time when you applied? Or yeah, no, I did. Sense? I did know about that. Yeah, and I thought that it's it's a challenge. It's always exciting. Yeah, to try and make a film, <coughs> and they've been some really successful ones lately with no budget. So. Cool, cool. Good challenge. Well, is it kind of be saying like the film Colin? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one? Well, I've no, I still haven't seen it, but I've heard that Colin's supposed to be really, really good, and that was made on forty-five pounds. Yeah, exactly. I, I haven't seen. Oh, I've <laughs> only <laughs> seen it. I've yeah. got a copy here somewhere. Um, so, how did you feel when you found out you'd been accepted you know, as for the role of Alice? Cause, yeah, know. no, it was exciting. Really exciting. To I was looking forward to starting filming and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, I, it was good to actually read the whole of a script as well. Like when I got sent the whole thing and mm. spent a few hours reading through the whole thing. Now you had you had um, you had other hopes and stuff as well, didn't you? Because before, um, when when you were, you, 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 you <laughs> cut that bit. Um, obviously, whilst you were filming with us, um, you uh, you were still applying for other jobs and so on. And I think um, that was around the time you went in Hollyoaks before you came to us, were you? No, so I got that during... How did the whole Oaks thing happen and, and integrate with the film? And Tell us about that. Um, during the filming, I heard that they were doing open auditions for Oaks, and it's really hard to get auditions for that when you don't have a really good agent and things. So um, I thought it was a really good opportunity to a good step up into the industry. So I sent off a film of myself doing a monologue and then I had to go up to the studios where I did a 12-hour audition day and then ended up... Yeah, and then I ended up being announced on T4 that I got the part, which was very exciting, but obviously meant I had to move up to Liverpool. So then I was still obviously doing this film, so I had to, whenever I came back down, um, had some time off or anything, I'd come and film scenes and stuff whenever I could. And uh, you had um, you had issues with hair and stuff, didn't you, halfway through? How yes. did that work for the film? Because obviously they, they started filming you with longer hair. And... Yes, yeah. Um, Hollyoaks decided that they were going to cut my hair short when I return back because my character goes away for a week and then returns and um, I told them that I was already filming another thing and that for my spotlight photo my hair was long but um, they they said that they wanted to cut my hair still so this is quite a problem for the film um, so they had to actually just do close-up shots and have my hair because I had a slight fringe as well was cut I had to have my fringe pinned back and have just close-up shots that didn't show the end of my hair. Okay, and what different hairstyles and stuff as well to... to oh, and different hairstyles in another scene where I had to have my hair up at the church scene, I have it up in a bun so that you can't tell. Okay, cool, cool. What's your fondest memory of the film? Yes. The fondest? Um, I've got, I don't know, I like, I like lots of it. Um, I like the, when you, all that stuff from the poppy field and stuff, all that, like, I remember that quite I mean, did vividly. it live up to... Quite, <coughs> when you read the script, did it kind of live up to what you expected? Yeah, no, it was really, it was really good. Um, all the, all the stuff in the forest was, it was all fun. It was, <laughs> apart from lying with the blood on the floor, <laughs> and then finding when you have the bath later all these dead insects everywhere. <laughs> That's quite interesting. <laughs> but, but it was also exciting because I've never. That was the first time I had a proper injury, I think. And then now I've been in Hollyoaks, I've got really badly injured, so I was used to it. When I had to have that, like, they took. They spent an hour and a half a day doing my makeup for the injuries. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, I'm But no, lots of it. Um, and doing the church stuff as well, I suppose, with all the extras, that was it. Yeah. Well, was it difficult for you to come back to do all the extra scenes after you got the part in Hollyoaks? I mean, did, was there any sort of point where you sort of thought, I don't know if I can come back and do this? Or? Um, well, I always, I always knew that I'd finish it because I never would not finish something whether or not and at some when I was filming uh, when I was filming a lot in up in Hollyoaks I, w I did think oh god I'm not gonna be able to come back down for ages but then luckily you do get 
quite a few days off, so I was able yeah. to come back and finish it. Cool, cool. So in all, how would you describe your experience in the <laughs> film? Was it really great? Was it okay? Was it a learning experience? Was it? How did you find the was... and producer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the director and the producer were amazing, but um, no, it was. It was loads of it. It was definitely a learning experience because it was the first feature film thing I'd done, um, and it was obviously like challenging having you had like no budget and stuff, so you had that. And um, you know, it was just I I, re I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. Cool. And the two guys running it, Peter and Daniel. What, what do you think of them? Peter and Daniel, they're very, they're very both very professional and very. You know, they they were really. It was really nice, relaxing atmosphere and. Um, they made you feel at ease and like let you like interpret the character by yourself, but then they do give you direction as well. So. Cool, cool. And I'm going to feed you words here, and we'll cut it out. Okay. Um, do you think they'll go far? <laughs> oh yeah, I think I think they'll go far, definitely. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Right, is, that, is that everything we need? Yeah. Anything else <clears throat> on the car? Group hug with the whole crew. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Love it. No. Cool. Cool.